Welcome back and good work. I'm told that you were able to save a young boy. Yeah, somehow or another. I'm still kind of in shock from when the redhead showed up. Haha, <laughs> you must mean Agate. I must. He's working another case in Ruin. He used to be the leader of the Ravens, if you can believe it. How about that? I suspected as much. Guess that explains his terrible disposition. Well, that was a long time ago. Or was. He drifted into town right around when he was your age. He hung out with a rough crowd and got into some serious trouble. I heard he robbed a liquor store. Compared to back then, the tough types nowadays are puppy dogs. And a guy like that was allowed to become a bracer? Well, I've gotten to know him a little bit. And it turns out that he wanted to become a bracer ever since he was little. Oh yeah? Sometimes people just change. I think that's probably enough of the idle chatter. Oh, you're back. Didn't your mama ever tell you it ain't nice to talk about someone behind his back? Always with the gossip. <laughs> but is it really gossip if it's positive? I guess it's still gossip regardless, but whatever. Anyway, are you done with your investigation? Yep, over and done with. I can't say for sure, but I think they're clean. Really? You're not just trying to protect your old buddies. You want to watch that mouth of yours? Uh-oh. Fight it, dude. From what I saw last night at the Sailor's Tavern, they couldn't be the arsonists. Hell, I doubt they could have even walked a straight line if they wanted to. <laughs> hmm. Well, if that's true, we can hold off on them. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> they didn't strike me as the types with the guts to try arson anyway. I guess not. Just full of themselves, mostly. Mostly. All you need is to give them a nasty look, and believe me, they'll cave. Anyway, I'll see if I can find the arsonist while I'm out in the field. Huh? I'm taking over the case. And you're off it. <laughs> we got our case taken away from us! That's no good. Whoa, say what? You've got to be kidding me. Can you at least give us an explanation? Oh, don't get your panties in a wad. You you two are too close to this case and you know it. And if you let your feelings run away with you, it screws with your judgment. It's true. Plus, you let a civvy get involved. Oh. Pardon me, but I... You ain't gotta apologize. It's these two I'm worried about. The point is, you gotta be professional about it, and these two ain't. Just where do you get off calling us unprofessional? And no matter what you say, we made a promise to the mayor. Hey, Gene. What do the rules say about when junior and senior bracers want the same case? Oh, come on. You know as well as I do. Of course it rules in favor of the senior bracer. Well, naturally. We're not bad in a fight. Perhaps we could provide backup. 
It's just an investigation. I don't need more people. I think we're done here. Try not to hold this against me. Well. That, as they say, is that. What? He... I... Because who the hell does he think he is? It's frustrating, sure, but he has a point. It just irritates me that we really don't have a counter-argument. I'm sorry. If I had not drawn my sword... That's not what's bothering me. He doesn't have to just blow us off like that. Please, he means no harm. Don't be upset. Tact is not his strong suit. He just doesn't know any other way to communicate. Particularly in light of the current situation. I think it may have something to do with an earlier case of his. He was pursuing someone, and, well... We'll learn more about that later. Especially in the second game. Huh? Pursuing someone? Like a criminal? Cause I'm a criminal! Ah, never mind about that. I really can't go into detail, just let him handle these criminals. Consider it a personal favor for me. I guess we have no choice. I see. Well, we'll hand over our report from our investigation. Please, go ahead. See payment for or Orphanage Crisis. 3,000 Mira. And 5 BP plus an extra 4. Rank advancement to Junior Bracer 4th class. We get a Strike Quartz. It seems that you are quite thorough. But as I mentioned, the circumstances of this case are special. Special Ed. I'm terribly sorry, but you'll have to end your investigation here. But... but... We just wanted to do something for the Matron and the kids. This isn't right. Estelle... Um... Mr. Jean... It's possible to enlist the help of the Bracer Guild for civilian events, isn't it? Yes, though it would depend on what kind of event you're talking about. Because of the number of people who attend, we'll be handling security at the Royal Academy Festival, for example. Well then, Estelle, Joshua, would you mind helping out with our play in the meantime? Play? Huh? What do you mean? Every year when the festival ends, there's a play held in, in the auditorium. I know the children always look forward to it. And there are still two major roles that haven't been filled. You don't mean... You want us to take the parts? Yes, otherwise we may have to cancel the play entirely. I can't bear to think of how disappointed the children would be. So, I mentioned you two to the student council last night. They seemed quite eager to have you. Oh boy. It wouldn't be much, but you'd be reimbursed for the id admin budget. Why do you want us? I don't think I'd be any good, and is the play a really big deal? A really big DLC. Well, for the girl part, we need someone who's been trained for combat. I think you'd fit the role perfectly. Perfect! I... I see. Hmm, well, I can definitely do combat stuff. Sounds like it would work. And what about the other part? Oh, yes, well... Talking about it is kind of... Um... Kind of... what? Embarrassing. And you'll find out why. <laughs> Ew. And what does that mean exactly? What kind of play is this? Oh, come on, Joshua. 
You're not gonna make her say it, are you? If we can do something for the kids, where's the harm? Plus, if we do some work, they'll probably let us have some of that awesome festival food. There you go. We can't let that opportunity slip by. Hey, hold on a second. Gene, is this really a legit bracer assignment? It certainly is. Citizen outreach and regional services comprise plenty of the general work that bracers do. And since Agate showed up, you do have some extra time. I certainly have no problem with it. Alright! Uh, I have a bad feeling about this. But if it's for the kids, what choice do I have? Still, if we have anything else to do, we should take care of it beforehand. I doubt working on the play will leave us free time for anything else. True that. Hmm, yeah, you're probably right. Hey, Chloe, would it be okay with you if we looked around here some more? Sure. You don't need to worry about me. To get to the Royal Academy, you leave by the Gold Seaside Way, go east at the First Fork, then follow the Woodland Path. Basically the only area we haven't been to yet. Okay, got it. Well then, let's go. So this is a really fun part of the game. I'm definitely looking forward to it. Arrived at the orphanage, but it's been burnt to the ground. The matron and the children have taken refuge at the Minoria Inn. We need to search the premises and see what happened. The door hinges were ripped from their frame before the fire. Part of the walls collapsed and there's a suspicious odor. Taking everything into account, this seems to be a clear case of arson. Let's go visit the children in Minoria Village. The matron and the children were rescued by a silver-haired man. The mayor steward Gilbert has implicated the Raven Gang. Seems likely, but there's no evidence to support it. However, just as we were heading back to report our findings... Seems as though Clem overheard the mayor talking about the incident and took off somewhere. He may have gone to confront the Raven Gang all by himself. We have to hurry back to Ruin and stop Clem. Doesn't seem to be on the seaway. Let's check the warehouse sector. The drawbridge is up. Can't get across that way. Seems there's a rental boat behind the hotel. We could just borrow it, then maybe. We took the boat to the warehouse sector and began searching for the Raven Gang hideout. We arrived in the nick of time. Clem is now safe and sound. According to Agate's extremely thorough investigation, the Raven Gang is actually... innocent. Regrettably, the arson investigation was reassigned to Agate. Da -da 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 -da. Festival help! In an unexpected turn of events, we will be acting in a play at the Academy's festival. It's a rather strange job, to be sure, but the children from the orphanage are quite looking forward to the play. We certainly don't want to disappoint them. Indeed. You're to be commended for your assistance to the civilians and general contributions to the area. I can honestly say this is the first time someone's been sent to participate in a play. <laughs> Quite the bracer job, isn't it? Well, I'll be waiting for your report. We got a bunch of new jobs, by the way. <laughs> Which is always a fun time. So we got maintenance delivery. Client Tobias. Thousand Mira. Difficulty medium. I'm looking for someone to carry a maintenance kit to the Vereen Lighthouse for a routine inspection. Of course, that was that lighthouse towards the beginning of this area. For job details, please come see me at the Granite Orbital Factory. Secret of the old map. If you remember, we picked up a map. Client Jimmy, Thousand Mira, difficulty medium. Searching for some pirate treasure hidden along the Gull Seaside Way. If anyone is willing to help me in this investigation, please contact me. I'll be waiting at the chapel. Escort job. Client uh, Amelia, 1500 Mira, difficulty medium. I'm looking for an escort for my uncle who's dead set on heading out into, uh, onto the Crone Trail. 
Candle bomb theft. Oh boy. Yeah, I didn't know that was coming. Gilbert, 5,000 Mira, difficulty medium. The Sapphire Glim, a treasure of the House of Dalmore, was stolen from the mayor's residence. Please try to find the whereabouts of this candle brom ASAP. For details regarding this incident, please see me at the mayor's residence. And make him leave. Make him leave! CWO Han. It, it, it's Mr. Han! Thousand Mira, difficulty medium. There's an annoying traveler causing problems for everyone around him at Airlet, and I'm looking for somebody who can resolve this problem amicably. You can probably guess who that is. Please come ASAP directly to Air Letton at the east end of the Orion Causeway. We got some jobs to do, ladies and gentlemen. There's Karna. I heard what you said to Gene. I'm going to be working as security for the campus festival myself. Oh yeah? But we have to act in a play, so... <laughs> I'll see you there. Oh, okay. Do, 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 do. So I kind of want to check something here. Let's see. Ba, 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 ba. Yeah, we need to get an EP2 for you. Also, giving you the Evade 2 wouldn't be a bad idea. Because that'll give you diamond dust. Which is something you, you really want for, for AoE purposes. Diamond dust. Produces intense cold. 20% chance of freeze. And it attacks in an area. But we need to make an EP2. Because Joshua has the one that we have. So, you know... Do, 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 do. Okay. Ba ba bum bum. Alright. It's Melvin! I'll just have to hold out until she gets back. Ah, choo! He's still sneezing away. And hopefully I'll shake this cold in the meantime. Hopefully. Yeah, Alright, so we want to do our usual rounds. Do, 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 do. How you doing? <laughs> it's almost time for the campus festival. My little sister is in the play, but I have no idea what role she's playing. That's too bad. So now, now we can buy the saber, since Chloe's in our party. An ornate longsword used for formal occasions. Not as good as the flame burge, but... You know me, I like to have one of everything, so... That's just the way that goes. That's all we really need there. So yeah, it... If you got the flame bird from the tower, then you don't really need to put put saber on, but you know. If you didn't, then the saber is something very nice. You were a great help. I should be able to handle things from here on out. I need to get back to Zeiss soon, so I've gotta finish up my work. Better do it. Better stop screwing around, man. Stop horsing around all the time. Let's see, what job to pursue next? I'm happiest when my job keeps me busy. My daughter works as a house sitter, but I worry about how lonely she is. House sitter style. I'm taking some time off work to attend the festival at my son's school. I often forget just how much I work, 
Poor Aletta always gets stuck looking after the house, too. When you really think about what's important, family always wins out. Pretty much. <laughs> We're all going to my brother's school for the festival soon. My mom's gonna come, too. It's so awesome! Isn't it, though? The Royal Academy's Campus Festival is coming up fast. Now's the perfect opportunity for us to check it out for my son's future education. I have to take him there. They make a really big deal of this campus festival thing, don't they? Yes, they do, ladies and gentlemen of the self-imposed jury. I wonder why a school would hold an event like that. Why wouldn't they? Pretty typical thing, really. Can't hurt to go take a look at the campus. I haven't decided to go yet, though, so I haven't taken the entrance exam. I don't want my mom to get her hopes up. Yeah, well... Do, 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 do. Nobody's over here. Nobody's over here. I think we could also get a new issue of the newspaper as well. Which I'm sure is probably going to talk about the arson. Among other, th among other shenanigans. Orbits have made the modern world a more convenient place in which to live. The invention of the airship, however, has all but negated the usefulness of Ruins Harbor. The world seems to be leaving the Sepian Church behind in similar fashion. The world is a vampire! I should hope that the people of Ruin, at least, would not forget their faith in Adios. And here's Jimmy. Jimmy Wang Yang. Huh? I saw you guys the other day. Yeah, this is the same guy that we saved. Nice to see you again. Oh, hi! You're the guy we met on the beach, right? You can call me Jimmy. You really saved my skin before, so let me thank you again. No problem, man. So, have you checked out the bulletin board today? Have I ever? Well, yes. But why in the world did you pick here to meet of all places? Well, I kind of stand out here, don't I? I mean, it costs a lot to put up one of those requests, and I figure people will see me here and ask, Hey, why are you in the chapel? And then I'll be like, So that you can help me find some awesome treasure! Well, then how about we get down to business? That request of yours certainly sounds intriguing. <laughs> glad you agree. Yep, I actually just acquired an ancient map a short while ago. And you wouldn't believe it if I told you. I probably wouldn't. Wouldn't believe? What now? It leads to the treasure of the great... of the great pirate, Shermer. Shermer? What? No way. But, um, I don't really know who that is. <laughs> You've never heard of Shermer? I have not. Aren't you from Ruin? Or wait, are you from somewhere else? Eh. Either way, Shermer! How could you not know? I mean, it's not exactly Eifried. Don't go making assumptions. You know what they say when you make an ass out of you and me? If memory serves me correctly, Shermer was a pirate that used to, um, work in the waters around Ruin around a hundred years ago. It's always a pirate legend, you know? Pre precisely. Nicely done. Leave it to the Royal Academy to teach the right things. What about the uniform, though? What's wrong with the uniform? 
One news parody when a Mortal Kombat character started attacking a newscaster with ripping out a bunch of organs. When the character stabbed the newscaster through the members, an entire body with the newscaster screaming. <laughs> Wow, you know a lot, Chloe. Come on, Estelle. It's not that impressive. It's just a story I heard, that's all. I'd like to ask you to look for Shermer's treasure. I think I already found it. The location is marked on the map. Do you remember where I was when we when, when, Do you remember where I was when we met before? It was a pit in the sandy beach. The Gull Seaside Way, right? Exactly. The, the map has that pit marked. Is that why you were there? That's right. I was conducting a field survey. Survey says! And since I found the place, monsters have been showing up. So I figured that I should get some professionals to take over. And then she takes over. So what's next after the pit? The map shows an X to the southeast of it. I figure that's got to be the location of the treasure. Y you might be right. Oh yeah, I need to make a note of this. Casino cheat style. Casino cheats in their burglar tools. Well, let's take a minute to work out a plan. We go to the beach in ruin, find the pit, and go directly southeast from there. Sounds right. Ah, I just remembered, I found something neat earlier on the beach. What? Say what? What did you find? A barrel drifted ashore. That's where you found those daggers in that torn up map, right? Yeah, so basically we already found what, what, what he's looking for. <laughs> now where did I put those? The sea chart! This could be a major discovery! Oh my god, I, I think he's choking Estelle! Please, let me see it! Hey, c calm down! I don't want you to die of excitement or anything. Hand it over torn map. Whoa, is this what I think it is? Oh wow, this is incredible! This is one of Shermer's treasure maps! What? Hmm? Now hold on a second, mister. You just said a minute ago that you had the treasure map already. <laughs> that had to have been a treasure map map. Oh boy. My map shows the location of this map, which shows where the actual treasure is, or maybe it shows the location of another map, and so on and so forth. So we're basically on a scavenger hunt then. This is getting confusing. But I found the chart inside a barrel. Let's not worry about that. Sometimes we have to just suspend our disbelief to get through the day. Pretty much. <laughs> it may seem a little strange that we find a sea chart like that. But the sea chart was found where the old map has the X mark. X marks the spot, even. <laughs> that is true. Well, as long as our client is happy, we're happy. Even if we're also very confused. Oh yeah! Hey, Jimmy, what about the daggers we found with the chart? You guys can keep those. Eh, we don't really need them. I don't have much in the way of Mira, so it's the only payment I can offer. Please, take them. Share in the mystery with me. Okay, thanks. Wow, this is really amazing. The sea chart is just a spectacular find. 
one time when found a clue behind Walt's radio. <laughs> Phantom Thief B, but... <laughs> Looks like I'll be busy again real soon. I gotta take this to O'Neill to get it deciphered. He, he's gonna flip! O'Neill? You mean April O'Neill? Later. Thanks for your help. He hopped over the pew. O'Neill? I guess he would be the one to talk to. So, who is he? He's an older gentleman who runs a general store. He tells a lot of interesting stories, but he tends to blow them out of proportion. Yeah, I get what you mean. So I guess that Jimmy's been taken in by the old man's tall tales. You gotta love tall tales, like Paul Bunyan. Yes, yeah, so it would appear. Ah, uh, I knew it sounded too good to be true, but... If it is true, maybe that chart really is the one from his fishtails. That's possible. Heh, <laughs> I guess it is a little mysterious. Hey, if we believe in it, I wonder if maybe it would pay off. Honestly though, I think Jimmy believes a little too, uh, fervently. Still, chasing your dreams isn't a bad way to live. Quest Secret of the Old Map completed. Do 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 do.